uh, many times during the uh, course of these presentations, I've mentioned uh, ethics and ethics committees. And we're now going to spend some time uh, looking in much more detail at ethical issues around clinical research and the role of ethics committees, how they're meant to conduct themselves, how they're meant to communicate, what their responsibilities are. I want to take you back 60 years, 65 years, to the Nuremberg trials where 16 doctors were found to have committed crimes against humanity. And these were because of the experiments they did on people in concentration camps. These were so serious that seven of them were actually executed for what they did. And the result was that a code was drawn up, and it was called the Nuremberg Code, and it is the foundation of all ethics processes and documents which have been built up over the years. In most countries also, it is a legal requirement to get ethics approval um, before you start a trial. And also, it is a legal requirement that you have insurance com uh, cover uh, for the trial that you're doing. So this is all I want to say about the legal issues because they are so different across different countries. But these are the, the three principles that need to be taken into account wherever you're doing a trial anywhere in the world. You probably will need permission from a government agency. You will almost certainly need ethics approval and you will need insurance cover.